I'm Nick Sturioli, and I'm a sports performance associate with Catapult Sports. We're here at Western Boone High School in Thorntown, Indiana, for the start of training camp, and this year, they've got a little different look to them. Western Boone has implemented GPS technology from Catapult Sports to track a variety of metrics on their athletes. Everything from top speed and distance covered to overall workload and heart rate is captured on a simple device. The device is worn by athletes during practice and games, allowing the coaches to make educated decisions based on data. Help each other out the heart rate monitors if you guys need to. Right. Catapult's state-of-the-art uh, equipment nowadays, and our, our strength coordinator, Jamie Comer, uh, does a great job of keeping up with the trends and anything going on in the weight room. But my, as a head football coach, the biggest part for me is the competition between kids, keeping them injury-free, and then maximizing the potential of each one of our athletes. Absolutely. Let's go, boys. Fly around. Fly around. So I hope that the data that we get in between Coach Comer and myself looking through it, um, knowing what we're looking at, to see how we scale back practices sometimes or who, who went hard, who needs to go harder, you know, what kind of data can we show these kids to where we can hopefully benefit you know, from our whole team. What I'm most excited about is where I can see what days um, I feel most tired. I can see like, if I worked harder or not that day. and like. You can clock your highest speed, and so I like seeing that, seeing if I can get faster and faster every day. Yeah, so it's really simple, and that was the thing that we were most excited about. At first, we were kind of worried about, hey, is this going to take all day for us to get this done? But we've gotten to a point we get it done in a minute or two, and it's easy to move on. The first thing that we do is each one of our athletes has a vest that they wear um, throughout the practice. We have each one of them keep that, and we wash it each week to make sure it stays clean. And then each one of them is assigned uh, a different pack. Each one is numbered and then we're able to keep track of what each athlete is doing. They wear the same pack every day um, so that we know. The athlete has the vest on, there's a small pouch in the back, we open it up, slide the pack in, it's very simple, uh, make sure they're ready to go. And then the last thing that they wear is a heart rate monitor which they're assigned um, at the beginning of the season as well so they know which one they're wearing. Again, very simple to wear on the skin, wrap it around, turn it on and you're good to go. Um, so it's a one, two minute process at most with each athlete. I do 15 units all by myself before practice and it doesn't slow us down at all. Yeah, we're excited about the opportunity it's going to present our athletes to really monitor and track what is making that athlete tick, uh, whether it's their heart rate throughout a practice, the speed that they're running, some different things like that that we can measure that we haven't been able to see before and we were kind of just guessing or subjectively looking at things. Now we know. We know what's going on with that athlete. If they're having a good or a bad day, some different things like that, we can really uh, narrow in and find out what's, what's helping make them tick that day and, and how can we better optimize uh, their performance because of that. So we're measuring all, all across the, uh, the board in terms of positions. And for each position, it's somewhat different what we're looking at. Uh, for more of our skill guys and our bigger skill guys, we're looking at total distance that they've run, uh, for the practice, the practice speeds that they're reaching, um, some different things like that that more involve their running and the amount that they're running. And then for, for some of our bigger power guys, um, in terms of collisions that they've had, um, the speed that they're moving at is important for them as well. It's just in shorter areas and shorter amounts of bursts, but the acceleration and deceleration that they're seeing um, is really important for some of our larger athletes. So we have to find a way to better keep them injury free and at, at their highest amount of performance. And by doing this with Catapult, we're able to kind of see, hey, what's going on with that athlete? Maybe they're getting a little too tired at this point. We should hold them back because they got to play offense, defense, and special teams. And that's a long game if they're playing all three. Oh, they've been excited about it. The opportunities that it's presented to them, um, they can now, they can see what's going on during practice, how they're feeling. And it really has been matching up. If a kid said he hasn't had a good day, well, we can see it in the numbers. If he's having a great day, we can show that to him and say, hey, this is what we should be striving for each day. This is what we're shooting for, trying to reach these speeds, uh, trying to keep pushing towards those new goals that we're setting. As the stars progress through the season, they'll have the ability to periodize their training according to what game day demands actually look like, as well as monitor the health and safety of their athletes. Thanks for watching.